Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chegu Daryl and today we shall continue on Unit 8 Going Away. For your information, this is the fifth lesson which is on page 87 on your student's book. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to make predictions about the future using will and want. Therefore, the language focus for our lesson today would be on will and want. As usual, before we proceed to our lesson today, let me explain to you first the framework of our lesson. First, we shall go through the rules of will and want with some examples. After that, we shall complete sentences using will and want with the verbs and ideas given. Last but not least, we shall write questions and answers about Nick and his family's future. Without further ado, let us move on to the first activity of our lesson today, which is to go through the rules of will and want. First and foremost, what do will and want mean? Basically, will in BM means akan. Therefore, want, which also means will not, means tidak akan in BM. The functions of will and want are used to describe events in the future. The only difference between will and want is that will is for affirmative sentence and want is for negative sentence. Now, take a look at these sample sentences to give you a clearer picture. What can you imply from these sentences? Lydia will feel tired and happy. It will be hot and sunny. I won't be very hungry. Will there be any cyclists? Yes, there will. No, there won't. What will the weather be like? Based on these sample sentences that you have read through, what are the implications that you can make? First, we use will to make affirmative sentences about future predictions. The short form for will is apostrophe LL. You can either use will or subject pronoun together with apostrophe LL. Next, we use will not for negative sentence. The short form is want. Like what I mentioned earlier, will is for affirmative sentence and will not or want is for negative sentence. In questions, we use will plus noun or pronoun together with verb. Remember this formula when it comes to making questions using will or want. In short answers, we use yes or no together with pronoun followed by will or want. However, when you want to make WH questions, we still use the same formula will plus noun or pronoun together with verb. It is just that when you want to answer in short, then you only can use yes or no together with pronoun followed by will or want. It's okay if you are still a little bit confused at this stage because after this we are going to do more sample questions in the following activities. Now let's move on to the second activity of our lesson today which is to complete the sentences using will and want. Let's start off with very simple activity first. Each sentence given here is written affirmative or negative at the end of sentence. For these questions, we need to complete it in negative form. Therefore, we need to choose want. Together with the verb, it becomes it won't rain in wells. So don't take your waterproofs. Number two, you have a great time in New York. It's an amazing city. Now we are going to make the answer affirmative. So we will go for will. You will have. A great time in New York. It's an amazing city. Number three, it be hot tomorrow. Let's go to the beach. And we need to make this in affirmative form. Since it's affirmative, we need to choose will. The verb here given is be, so it will be hot tomorrow. Let's go to the beach. For this answer, I use the short form apostrophe LL. Number four, I speak Spanish in Mexico this summer. Affirmative. 
if it is affirmative, we need to choose will. So I will speak Spanish in Mexico this summer, but I choose to use the short form apostrophe LL. Either you use it will or apostrophe LL, both are considered correct. Number five, I buy a guidebook. We can use dance negative, which means you would not buy. So I won't buy a guidebook. We use dance. Number six, they need sleeping bags because they're going to stay in a hotel. Now we're going to make this sentence negative. So we need to opt for want. So they won't need sleeping bags because they're going to stay in a hotel. Now let's try to complete these sentences using will or want again. But this time the exercise here is a little bit different. Choices of answers are already given in the table. So we are going to look through each questions as well as the choices of answer. Once an answer is already chosen, then we are going to cancel out the answer and fill in the blank. Number one, it's very hot. Laura is at the beach today. She, which one should be the most suitable answer? Since the weather is hot and Laura is at the beach, which means that it's very sunny. So she needs more sun cream. Therefore, the answer is she will need some sun cream. So we cancel out need some sun cream. Remember, you need to add in will or want. But in this sentence, it is a will. Number two, Max hasn't got a torch on his camping trip. Now, Max hasn't got a torch yet means that he doesn't have the torch. So, which one is the most appropriate answer? We should choose want rather than will. So, what won't he do? He won't read a book at night. So, we cancel out read a book at night. Number three, it's rainy today. We, you see, since it's already rainy outside the house, what is the outdoor activity that you cannot do outside your house when it's raining? It's barbecue. Therefore, we need to choose want instead of will. We won't have a barbecue. Number four, I'm going to go on an Arctic cruise. Wow. If you're going for an Arctic cruise, what can you see at the Arctic? Remember our previous lesson about Stephanie? Stephanie said that if you go to Arctic, you might be able to see whales. Therefore, for this sentence, we need to choose will. And the answer should be sea whales. So we cancel out sea whales. I'm going to go on an Arctic cruise. I'll see whales. For this answer, instead of using will, I choose short form. It's up to you. Next, number five. You haven't got any waterproofs and it's rainy. You will get wet. That's the most suitable answer. When you don't have umbrella, you don't have waterproof and you are under the rain, definitely you will get wet. For this answer, I choose to use apostrophe LL. You can choose will as well. Number six, they haven't got their mobiles with them. They so the last answer here is text their parents and since they don't have their mobiles therefore the answer should be want they want text their parents are you clear with all this if yes well done if no you can always rewind to listen to the explanation now let's move on to the final activity of our lesson today which is to write questions and answers now nick is moving to australia we need to write questions and answers about his future. A sample sentence is given here. We need to reconstruct a question based on the phrases given here. And do you see a symbol at the back there? If it's a cross symbol, means that it's a negative answer. If it's a tick, then we are going to produce an affirmative answer. Let's try to write question first. Nick's family live in a big house. So the answer should be, will Nick's family live in a big house? Since it's a cross, so we say, no, they won't. Number two, Nick make many new friends is a tick, so it's affirmative. 
Will Nick make many new friends? Yes, they will. Number three, Nick learn a new language? It's a cross. So, will Nick learn a new language? No, he won't. Number four, be hot and sunny in December. We should start off with will it. Will it be hot and sunny in December? Since it's a tick, yes, it will. Number five, Nick's family have a barbecue on the beach in January? So question, will Nick's family have a barbecue on the beach in January? Since it's a tick, so yes, they will. Number six, Nick's friends in London visit him next summer. Uh oh, it's a cross. So it's a negative answer. Will Nick's friends in London visit him next summer? No, they won't. So can you get the gist of how to write questions and answers? If it's a tick, then we say yes, pronoun, well. The subject pronoun he, she, it, they, we, are you, it depends on what is given in the questions. If there are more than one person, we use they. If there is a person and I, we use we. And if it's a single person, we use either he or she according to the gender. So that's the end of our lesson today. This is the Google Form exercise that I have provided for you. Feel free to scan the QR code right in front of your screen or you may click on the link that I have provided in the video description below. If you're a teacher and you would like to make a copy of this Google Form exercise, feel free to just scan the QR code or you may click on the link that I have provided in the video description as well. As usual, don't forget to visit my Facebook page Chegudero and give it a like if possible. Subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell button so that you will always get notified whenever I update my playlist. With that, I'd like to thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next video. Bye!